हेलो गाइस होप यू ऑल आर वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक जॉइंट्स यूनियंस एंड ब्लेंडिंग एज इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इन टैब्ल्यू डेटा कैन बी इंपोर्टेड इन वेरियस फाइल टाइप्स एंड फर्दर वी कैन कनेक्ट विद वेरियस फाइल सर्वर्स विद इट आइदर इन लाइव और इन एक्सट्रैक्ट मोड्स सो नाउ थिंक if we can connect various file types and servers together in tableau then how can we integrate its data together so as to work and create visualizations over it so here tools like joins union and blending come into picture so before going further kindly subscribe our youtube channel and hit on the comment section below if you like this video joins as from the name suggest it would join the data but the question arises how it would join Join is a powerful tool that it would check the data in your tables. And if two tables have any column common in them then it would combine the data using that attribute. As join would combine data using common attribute hence it means it would combine your data horizontally that is it would combine the columns of two table that are joined together. Hence after joining the number of columns would increase in resultant table. which you can clearly see in this picture highlighted with red color but before going further i want to ask you a question that what do you think how many maximum number of tables can be joined in tableau would that be a finite number or infinite number i would be giving you the answer for this question anywhere in this video so kindly view the full video carefully remember that a table that needs to be joined can have at most 255 columns now for easy understanding of joins and a join result we are taking a small example think of a scenario a bank having two branches loan branch and saving branch loan branch would provide the loan to the customers and would save the record of the customers that have taken loans saving branch would save the money of its customers and would save the record of customers that have saving accounts and there would be some set of customers customers that have account in both the branches that is they have account in loan branch and they have account in saving branch too as might be they have taken personal loan or vehicle loan these set of customers are marked by orange color other type of customers are one those have taken loan that is they have account in loan branch but don't have account in saving branch might be they are the credit card customers these set of customers are marked by red color The third type of customers are those that are marked by green color and have only saving accounts which means they haven't borrowed borrowed any type of loan. The data of the customers are being stored in each branch and later on data would be combined together so as to solve the following type of queries. If manager of the branch wants to check the customers those have taken loans and have saving accounts too then he would find the data using join named as in a join which we would study in this further slides if manager wants to check the customers that have taken loan but don't have any saving accounts with them then he find can find the data using left join which we also study further in this video and moreover if manager wants to check the customers that have only saving accounts then also he can find the data using right join which we would studying further so it means joins we can resolve various queries from data present in different sheets or in different connections so we must know each type of it so now we'll be studying the type of joins consider we have a loan table and a saving table and we want to find the customers that have account in both the branches so here comes the first type of a join which is called as inner join before joining system would check the tables that needs to be joined that whether they have any common attribute or not for joining two tables it is necessary for having a common column in both the tables common attribute is in the terms of value it contains here in both the tables account number is the common attribute hence we can perform join on these tables in inner join it would only be showing the matching data that is inner part from both the tables and the matching condition was on the behalf of the common attribute hence in resultant table only four rows would be shown 
so we can say resultant table of inner join can have equal or less number of rows than that of its parent table but the number of columns would always increase in resultant table so for finding the customers that have saving account and long account too inner join is beneficial as the common rows are the ones those have saving accounts and have taken loan too the next type of join is called left outer join in left outer join similar to inner join first of all system would check the common attribute in the tables if both the table have any common attribute in them then the rows that have common values would be selected first and then it would select the rows from the left table that are not present in right table hence it means in left outer join there would be some extra rows from the left table for which there would be null values for right table in left join resultant table can have less or equal number of rows than that of parent table and it would also increase the number of columns in resultant table so for finding the customers that does not have saving accounts left join is beneficial as the rows which is extra in the left table is the one that doesn't have saving account now the next type of join is right outer join in right outer join first of all system would check the common attribute and then it would show the matching rows on the behalf of the common attribute and further it would show the extra data of right table that is not present in left table right outer join would be having either less number of rows or equal number of rows than that of the parent table but the number of columns would always be more right outer join would be beneficial for finding customers that haven't taken any type of loan full outer join in full outer join first of all common data of all the rows would be shown then data of left table which is not present in right table and then data of right table that is not present in left table would be shown full outer join would result in same or more number of rows as that of parent table and would also increase the number of columns so now concluding all the joins together in a join common values left join common values plus extra values of left table right join common values plus extra values of right table full outer join common values plus extra values of left and right table so join would increase the number of columns as you can see in the resultant table the columns have eight columns whereas parent table have five and three columns and total while adding these two we have eight columns the other tool for combining data is coming from different sheets is union union is a tool that would use to combine data vertically that is either the rows of data can be summed together using unions for performing union structure of both the tables need to be same that is both the tables should have same columns otherwise union would result in null values as if we need to find the total number of the customers in loan branch and saving branch together then we can apply union over them and the data would be combined together by adding rows so now you can see in resultant table now there are eight rows that came from t1 and t2 having five and three rows so we can conclude that union would add the rows in resultant table blending blending is a tool in tableau where data from different sources are in different structures can be compared together you can see in this picture that circle is red in color and square is green in color where they both have different shape here their shape defines that they are of different structures and they are coming from two different data sources but both of them have some common values as they both work on different structures so we cannot join or union these tables so what left behind is comparing these values with each other without combining them and that is done you by using blending blending needs any one attribute 
in both the tables to be similar and by using that attribute the relationship between the data sets can be created and further these relationships would be shown in terms of comparisons between primary data source versus secondary data source where secondary data source would be showing only those records of it that are present in primary data source as shown in this picture store 2 is comparing only two records of it that is matched with store 1 hence we can say it would work just like left join as the table that comes first would be taken as the primary data source and the table that comes last would be taken as secondary data source so now i think that you might be clear about what are joins union and blending but where you need to implement them we would cover that in next video so before completing the video i would just remind you that in the starting of the video i have mentioned a question that what was the maximum number of a tables we can join in tableau so the answer for this is 32 remember this thing that the number of tables that can be joined in tableau maximum number is 32 and i have also asked about the number of columns one table can have and have shown you that in the starting of the video so using that number and 32 that is maximum number of tables that can be joined so find the maximum number of columns over which tableau can work simultaneously in one instance so if you don't remember the number then kindly go back to the starting of the video and see it again but if you remember it then mention that number with the answer of this question in comment section below till then get connected with unt by subscribing the channel and like the video if you really got the concept So till for the videos stay safe and take care thank you